Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a speed run in Rails again with a drag and drop solution. This time we're going to be using a stimulus component. In the past we did this from scratch and it took about 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, I think this one we can get down to a pretty quick time, so I'm going to have the timer running just so we can see how long it actually takes to implement this. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and see out of here and bump up my font size just so it's a bit easier, uh, a bit more fair for the timer. And then I'll just go ahead and get started as soon as I remember what the hotkey is. So we're gonna start by doing a Rails new. I'll hit F11, we'll do a uh, video, we'll do a dash J for ES build and a dash C for bootstrap. We're doing this because the um, import map wasn't working for me when I tried to do this. Let me make sure I go over to the right page. Uh, the command up here where you do the yarn, I tried to do the equivalent in a import map import or a pin or whatever it's called, and it just, it wasn't working. It was timing out, it was telling me it couldn't find the package. Uh, so we're doing this in uh, ES build, so we can just use a yarn command and use something that the rest of the world uses instead of whatever this uh, cringe import map stuff is. So this should be close to done. Let's go ahead and CD into video, run a code dot. Now for the actual setup here, it does use a gem called acts as a list. So we have these stimulus components that we need to add, which is gonna be these two. And actually these aren't gonna work out of the box without a third, which is this uh, at rails slash request.js. I'll have all these links in the video description. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in. So we're, at, we're doing a yarn add for stimulus dash sortable, sortable JS and at rails slash request.js. We'll add all three of those and those should work then. The next thing we have to do is generate a scaffold. We'll do a rails G scaffold for some to do's uh, and we'll give each to do, uh, I don't know, like a title. We'll go ahead and we'll run that. After we have the title, we can then do a uh, migration in case you're doing this in an existing model. You then have to say add position to to do. Uh, and then we wanna say position is of type integer, something like that. Now this position is used for the axis list gem. So we're gonna have to add that to our gem file. So we'll actually, let's just come into our gem file itself uh, because we do also have to add the form and gem. We'll come down to the bottom and we'll paste both of these in. Axes list and the form and gem. I have to do this because I'm on Ruby 3.2. If you're on 3.1 or this has been patched, you should just be good to not include form in uh, to run your bin slash dev and it should just work out of the box. For some reason, installing it locally doesn't work. I've tried like numerous solutions, including like specific install and none of it was working for me. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is come into our app, our models and our to-do because inside of our to-do.rb, we have to include a acts as list line. Now for the actual to do updating on the remote side of things, we have to create a new action. Uh, and this one we had uh, actually had chat GPT generate this one for me. And we'll just go ahead and we'll do this. So right here after the destroy, we just put in a update position. This is going to be a patch. It takes in the at to do and then it does a at to do dot insert at which comes from that access list. It takes in the to do parameters and then inside of here, we actually need to permit the position. Let me hit control plus one more time. Make sure you can actually read this. Oops. There we go. Uh, it has to take in the position and then that allows us to access this position here. We cast it to an integer call insert at and that causes it to reposition all the other elements in the list. Now, because of uh, how we're doing this, we also need to, if we change how the items are ordered up here with the to do dot all, we need to change. Oops, we need to change this to a uh, at to do's equals to do dot order and then we order it by the position. So that'll allow us once we reposition it and then refresh to have these appear in the same position that they previously were at. Uh, without this, it, by having to do dot all, uh, you would save them in the database in the correct order, but it wouldn't work um, from the uh, like point of refreshing, it would go back to the dot all order, which of course is not the same as the newly sorted order. So that's that. Uh, the other thing we have to do is, uh, let's come over to our app views, to do's, and our index.html.erb. In here, we have to set up the uh, HTML however we would like, and this is coming from the stimulus components page. I'll have a link to this in the video description as well. So the first thing it tells us to do is import the sortable controller. Now there is a method of overriding it. All you do is you generate a empty stimulus controller with like rails g stimulus, and then we do a, uh, I don't know, sortable, and then you just paste this code in there. I'm not doing that this time because I've done that in plenty of other tutorials now. Instead, we're gonna do the uh, the basic method right here by coming into app JavaScript and inside of app, oops, uh, inside of controllers and application. In here, what we want to do is 
uh, import that sortable that we did the yarn add for, and then we want to register this controller by calling application.register after the const application. That will give us access to that, and we can now close out of all of these, uh, and we can come into the index page to finish up. That's right, we're actually almost done at this point. So what we want to do in here is we can get rid of the stuff in the middle here. Inside of this div with an ID of to-dos, we want to have a UL. And then we want to, uh, let me close this. We only have a UL with a data controller of sortable. That's the controller we just registered. We want to have a data sortable resource name value, which is the name of our model, so our to-do model. And then we want to have a sortable handle value, which is going to be the class that we include here. Because I'm using Bootstrap, what I'm going to actually do is create a LI for each to-do. I'll close this. And then for each of these to-dos, I'm going to give them a class of card to give us a bootstrap card. And then I'm also going to make this the handle. You could, in theory, also have a handle here and then change this to like dot handle. And that would also work. In this case, I'm just using the card because I like the look of the card. The other thing I have is the data sortable update URL, which is a update position path route that corresponds to our to do controller right here with this right here, this update position. So we have to come into our config and our routes.rb. We'll set the root to be the to do's controller index action. And then we also want to do a uh, patch for the to do's, which we'll do right here. So we'll say patch slash to do's slash colon ID update position to to do's update position action. And we set it as update position so we can use that path name. So we can just copy this. And that's how we get this update position underscore path right here. We then pass in the to do, and that'll go to our controller action that we created just fine. The final thing we have to do here is inside of our LI, we have to include a uh, card dash body. We give it a to do dot name just so we have something here. And then we link to read more. Finally, let's come into our uh, DB and our seeds in here. And let's just seed, uh, let's say 25 to do's uh, with uh, a random title, I think, because we gave it a title, right? So 25.times do to do create. Uh, this wants the faker gem. Uh, I don't, I guess we'll do that too. We'll come into our gem file. We'll do a gem for uh, faker, something like that. Hit F11, run a bundle command. Hopefully everything doesn't blow up. Looks good to me. Come over to our seeds file, save this, uh, come back over to our index. Let's actually come into our form real quick. So this has the title in it. Okay, so we know that works, uh, which means this needs to be title and not name. That's uh, cold over from my demo application. So let's go ahead, let's exit out here. We can now run a bin slash dev, hopefully. Uh, we shouldn't see any errors here. Let me just say F11 real quick. Looks good to me. Let's come over to localhost port 3000, hit F11. Uh, we need to run the pending migrations. Okay, so we have an empty application. Let's go ahead, let's come into our application uh, yield. Let's do a dot container dot MT dash five so we can get some bootstrap padding on the side and the top to push it down. Now let's stop the server and run a rails DB colon seed so that we can get those uh, to do's seeded. And then let's do a bin slash dev again to start our server and then refresh the page. And now we should have all of these. So uh, I'm gonna grab this one that has the consequitor and I'm gonna dr drag it down so we can see all of these animations are working. Now, if I drop it right here and refresh, we would expect this uh, CONS word to be in the second position. And if I hit refresh, or if I just hit the refresh button, you'll see this is actually in the second position. Let's drag it down here. And you can see this is firing an update here and it's gonna be updating all of the to-dos uh, with the new position, which is actually pretty optimized. So it's only got like three updates being called, but now it's in the third position, this line right here. Let's refresh and it still is. We can click the link, go back, it's still here. We can move this one to the top. We can move this one way down and you see this is all working out of the box. So I'm gonna hit F11 here uh, or F1 to stop my timer. Uh, and in about eight minutes or eight and a half minutes, we got this working. Uh, pretty much how you would expect. So as you can see, this is a lot faster than the previous uh, you know, 30 minute solution. We're not coding it out of the box, but using this stimulus components right here, combined with the access list gem and the request.js uh, import right here, that gives you the basic functionality. And then with uh, the bootstrap cards, that gives us the uh, little bit of a look there so that we have something to at least look at. But yeah, hopefully this is interesting. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, you know, hopefully this is fast enough for you and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.